for it, but what the hell? The number is phone. The number is phone. Oh, what? Nobody's name is phone. Hey man, don't go away just because I came close. Hi, beautiful. Look at you. Yeah, hi. Don't worry. I got you. I am not going to do anything untoward. Oh my god, you're really coming for me though, aren't you? So I also have no food, if that's what you're interested in. Oh, you're eating. Awesome. Hola. Espero. Hi. You are so amazing. Yeah, I know. Look at your little mandible. I like it. I'm threatening to lizards. It came, it, it like started to walk away from me and then it started coming towards me and then I thought it was going to eat me and then it instead ate leaves. No, it's just this is the story of what no, has happened thus far. I'm sure it does. It's eating the leaves to show you what it would do if you were <laughs> Exactly. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, you know, it's orange. I know. You know the whole story about orange lizards, right? No. Well, when uh, the top of the mating pool um, starts deciding that it is the top, it starts growing its spikes orange first, and then it scales orange. Dude, I want to just stay here and watch this lizard all day. Look at it! Eating is cute! Eating is cute! <laughs> I love you. Alright. Hasta luego. I know. Hasta luego. Hasta luego, man. Eres un mi amigo. Uh, ¿Qué es ¿Cuál es tu bebido? Es una bloja. Ah, sí, Salud. Por las mujeres. Oops, sorry. Health. Excellent. Health. <laughs> I'm done. Suck it up, buddy. Aww. I'm done, dude. That's all that counts. Oh. That was good. Mine is gone. Ooh, I like that. They defend themselves with their tails. Yeah, that tail's a big ass. Oh, I know this guy already. We met. Every guy will love the blowjob. Yeah, but this guy is good. You're gorgeous. Be careful with. He might scratch you. His tail is too sharp. It's okay. I used to have water dragons. Don't take it. He doesn't like you. What are you looking for? It's good. It's pineapple. I was trying to get a hold of you. Look at this guy. You ever seen this guy? This guy feels like celebrity now, huh? Holy fuck, man. Yeah, holy fuck. Look at that. You got me, Chris. Hey, let me see. Are you hung? Wow. Are you hung? Well, he's orange, yeah, man. He's Apparently, friend. orange iguanas means that they're at the top of their mating pool. So he's got to be more than just hung. You're, you you're pretty orange. You're wearing orange. That's, yeah, that's what I do, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking exactly. about. That's what I do. You should see me when I spray tan. <laughs> hey, baby. How you doing? Is there anything to eat there? Like, are you actually enjoying yourself? 
Are you I don't even know what you making mean, music maybe? More like fingers? Is this heavy metal? Hi babies. It does make me nervous. Why are you doing this? There's nothing I can do to help you. Yeah. Hey. Well, maybe there is something that they're eating. There's like little flecks of something. No, it's not. It wants us to give it food. Hi, but it was doing this before we got here. Yeah, because they knew we were coming up. No, it did not know. It's coming up. It's coming up. It says, please it's do there. not feed or the tease. Monkey over there? Look, you see the monkey right there? That I see the monkey. Is... Give me the monkey. I will eat the monkey. You will eat that monkey. What do ostriches eat? All sorts of shit. Like do they eat bananas? Like do you eat think, bananas? I think they're very bananas. No, no fruit? See, I swear, just ate a piece of fuzz. Yeah, probably fuzz, but like that. what you see in California as, well as, as far as palms go. And there are so many different kinds. Some of them are oil palms, which I just looked at apparently. It reminds me of Riviera Maya. Not quite as amazing, but real close. And again, Riviera Maya, Maya was our first. Okay, here's an oil palm. Oil. And I'm assuming that's what this huge one is up here. Oil palm. A virgin men palm? Kind of a virgin. What I really like is fallen trees, assuming they are uh, naturally fallen, not fallen by human, of course. I wonder where I'm going. I meant to go to my room. Instead, I am on... Okay, what? I was going to say I'm on a trip or I'm on a trek some sort but what the hell the number is phone the number is phone oh what nobody's name is phone 
Somebody's lying to me. All right, let's keep going. It's like being in the jungle, right next to the beach, which honestly, there's a lot of that in Mexico. All right, here's another one. Window leaf. Is that this big one up here? Oh yeah, I could totally make lines out of that, I feel like. People are coming. I'm gonna pretend I'm not talking to myself. More phone. Here you go. Agave. People that I pretended I wasn't talking to myself in front of. Ah, I see the beach. Uma has all the beautiful animals. Lots of deer, for example. I'm gonna go all the way in. Oh, I like the loud ones. I think those are macaws. Uma. Hola. I don't know the Spanish name for deer. Oh, but they're in the... Uh, <laughs> Last I saw, this was actually the white peacock cage. Apparently the deer are down to hang out in there as well. What's up? How you doing? But as I can see here, the peacocks and the turkeys are all kind of chilling. Hola, peacock. Hola. There's that white one. Beautiful. Look at all this like goddamn nature. Just chilling. I love it. Apparently there used to be a crocodile, but it got sick. So they had to send it somewhere else, which is absolutely perfect as far as I'm concerned. Do not wait until the crocodile dies. Thank you. Of course, this is what I've been told. I actually have not seen a living crocodile or seen the place that it was. However, from what I hear, this is considered a ecologically sound kind of place and so for example one of the deers got out from another resort and had something around its neck and i was told that it um sorry about my finger there i was told that it was given to them from the uh authorities because we're considered or they are considered a beautiful uh lovely sanctuary is this a female peacock Oh, I'm really interested in you, honey. Hi. Look at you. I mean, you don't have your tail, but I didn't realize how beautiful you were otherwise, huh? Not quite as shiny as your, your male counterparts, but I like you. I shall call you Gretchen. Okay, listen, Macaw. Don't talk shit. All right, let's keep going. It's over here. Tortuga. The turtle? I have not seen said turtle. I wonder where it is. Hi, little one. These deer are so tiny. I think of them as, as fawn, but I don't know for sure. They definitely don't have their uh, antlers yet if they are male. Part of me is sad to see them in cages, but part of me is recognizing that they are being taken care of. And every, every animal they have here, from what I've been told, is either rescued, uh, no, or is rec rescued, perhaps, because they do not buy any of their animals. They just take care of the ones that are given to them. Oh, look at your beautiful tail there. Why can't I look like that? All right, I suppose I should go back to my room. So not as cool as this, let's be real. There's also an ostrich over there. This I'm sure is supposed to be for children. 
It looks fun for me too, let's be real. There's that swim up bar, which I, I'm a fan of. All right, let's go home. To home! This is Mano de Leon, a lion hand. I can totally see that. The other phone plants, not so much. 